I am Sebastian, uh, workshop coordinator, um, and right now we are looking at a sign from MAMA in Rotterdam. We have a live view there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my expo, and it's going to focus on how I translated a, uh, yeah, a game expo to a physical space. And um, I may ask now to let's go inside so we can see more of the expo itself. So this expo actually is years in the making. Uh, first, I started with an idea uh, about mental health and video games, but it was not, nothing more than just a, uh, a general thing. It's like, well, let's put a couple of games in there, make a big selection. And then the proposal got rejected, but there was something there. Then I went thinking more about it. And then it got into 2020 and the pandemic started, but also a lot of pol police brutality. This is when I started thinking about power structures and also got into contact with the term propaganda. And the term propaganda uh, refers to a, a combination of the police and propaganda. These news items that are being brought forward that make the police look good. And this is sort of my starting point for this expo called Power of Who. Right now on the wall you can see the text I wrote uh, together with the people of MAMA who helped me with this about what the expo is all about. Uh, it is in Dutch, but I got an English version that I'll also be sharing with you. And the expo itself, um, it just doesn't focus completely on propaganda. It focuses more on a broader uh, thing of power structures. Because propaganda, how I started was, it's in television series and movies where the police are always doing everything to catch the bad guy. But in video games, we don't really see this. Video games have a more diverse view, actually, than series somehow. Um, but I, what I was looking for was something to bring forward and bring to the Netherlands, make it local. And I went through a whole selection process. And for this, I selected the game Riot, Civil Unrest, and created a level based upon an actual demonstration in the Netherlands. Now, the next step was bringing this to life. How do you do this? What I didn't want to do was just put the games into the space and uh, let people play them there. So I took a step further of like decorating the whole space and um, bringing forward the text, the contrast of the actual demonstration and the um, game. Because in the game you can also you can play as the police and the demonstrators. And what we can see here, this is what I chose, like black and white, a contrast. Uh, you, as we see now, we see a artwork that's been painted on the walls by Guido de Boer. And he took his inspiration from a black book of police violence. This black book was created after the demonstration in Rotterdam on which the level is based. And it is about a collection of 50 testimonies of people that were there at the demonstration. And through their eyes, you get a completely different look of how this demonstration went down. Because it's something different from the police statement that was being put out, and something that the media did not report on. So this is where we already can see like the propaganda uh, part coming forward. Uh, right now, you also see uh, pamphlets on the wall. Uh, this was done by Guido. These are quotes also from the Black Book in Dutch, though. And these are bringing forward what people are suddenly thinking. Because in huge letters, there's like two uh, sentences all of a sudden, and the writing was on the wall. Because some people already recognized some movements, but other people didn't. They were like, where the hell is this coming from? And what he did, and this is very interesting for the space, was use every corner of the walls. So if you get there, you can see that letters go around the corner, and this forces you to explore the complete space. Uh, 
And what I did in combination with this was uh, bring this forward with televisions and put these televisions, make them black and put them in place with the letters so it directly falls in there and looks like a window, a window to this other world. And next to this, you cannot just make uh, the space like this and just say, okay, I want to do this and this. I actually went to talk to the people that were there to see what it was feeling like. How did it, um, how did they experience it right there? Um, and this is a pretty important part if you make something like this. Right now you can actually see the level that was created based upon our talks with uh, people that were there. And it's a basic level though, but what we did there was get the main situation from the game forward where a group of people uh, called by the police the Black Bloc were singled out based upon the way they dressed and moved. But there was no um, serious, no serious thing had happened yet. And we got this scenario out of the whole uh, demonstration brought forward and then modified the game a little bit to bring extra assets in there to make it more realistic than the actual game is. Because in the game you can only choose the Italian fans for the police and now we see also Dutch fans. Um, next to this we have, you can see the cables are um, in black and hanging in front of the letters. This is to bring forward the, um, that it is part of the exposition itself. So that it doesn't just uh, single it out. And if we take a step back, we see that the, we have the block there standing, and this is where you play the game. I actually had a couple of ideas for this. Should I use a controller or not? And should I use an audio soundscape for the whole uh, expo ex exhibition? This didn't work out, sadly, and this is some of the things that, uh, yeah, you sometimes have to kill in the process. This is the kill your darlings part. And now, like the next steps for me, um, seeing everything and working, we had an opening at the end of April, over 200 people uh, came by. And one of the things I did also was, if we go to the left now, we see a house. This is uh, based upon the actual demonstration house that was used in the protest, or the demonstration. And I recreated it. I also talked to the people that created it and made it a canvas for people to write what they want, put their demonstrations uh, or their cares on there. And as you can see, it's pretty full now already. It was actually pretty full already after the opening, but it just got fuller and fuller. It's one of the interactive parts that I wanted to bring forward again. Uh, this works. I'm still thinking about like the keyboard of the video games, because uh, one of the things I noticed there, people are button mashing. And yeah, this is something that you don't want to do. So still going to work on that and improve it, because you learn a lot of things of how it actually works in practice and in theory how you see it and how this is going to work out. Because you really need to know the space, be there and see how does the light come in. Because uh, at first I had the idea for beamers, but that didn't really work out because of the light as you can see. And now there are televisions and it works as a window. Uh, I'm going to close it off now with this one scene that you can see from the game. Uh, the level is online. Uh, you can download it via uh, Steam. You do need the game for this. And if anybody has any more questions about this or they want to talk to me, I'll be on Discord. You can reach me there, and I'll also be at the festival. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.